hello guys welcome to my channel i appreciate you for being here on today's episode if i can say that <laughs> we're preparing a four acre land to plant corn for the chicks yes feed is very expensive so we're trying to plan ahead and plant some corn so i'll stop talking let's get into the video and if you haven't subscribed kindly do so and after watching don't forget to share like and comment okay Guys, on my channel, I want to be as transparent, as honest as possible with my watchers, especially people who want to move to Ghana and start a business in Ghana. When we started this business, I had the idea of, oh, why do I have to bring in outsiders to do the job? Let me just make use of the people in the community, give them job opportunities and whatnot, which is a great idea, okay? I'm not kidding. It's a great idea. I don't regret it. But word of caution you have to be very very careful because these people they can frustrate the crap out of you okay and no disrespect i'm just telling you they will promise you heaven and earth you pay them the money and then it becomes a different story and it doesn't get done they're not all like that and to be honest the chief of the village told me to be very careful who i hire to help do the work on the farm and the lady in the video is the chief's niece and she, we, she's the one that we bought the four acre plot from. So I've trusted her to lead and get people in the village to get this land ready. First, I pay them to weed it, okay? And then they have to cut down the trees and then we have to get it ready to plant the corn. And to be honest, she's done her job. She's very trustworthy. She makes sure she... Um, get me the right people but the people she's getting like up to now I first I pay to get the land cleared and as you can see on the left hand side I still have a lot of green space that they need to clear and they haven't done that then I pay for them to cut down the tree and they still haven't finished the tree what they do is the guys the ladies are very honest they do their job but the gentlemen in the village I don't know for some reason they get the money they spend it and then they don't want to do the job so they've taken the money and now they're fighting amongst themselves who is to cut down the tree and whatever so it's becoming a big headache to me and i've made up my mind that you know what i am not going to deal with these people i'm just going to hire people from outside because it's like you're trying to help the community but they see you as a fool for some reason they think the money grows out of your god knows where so they just take your money and they don't do the work and then you have to chase after them and then it becomes a big hassle and i am not doing that so as much as i want to help the community i i better watch out for myself too i am not going to employ any of them and word of caution when you're doing these things you have to be very very careful right now the person that's watching our chicks i brought him from somewhere else nowhere near the village because if you hire them from the village they will always have a reason to go home and they'll leave your chicks there and they will die and it's just not advisable okay so i'm not here to hate on anybody i'm talking about my experience yes ghana i want people to move to ghana i want you to start businesses but you also have to be a smart investor or these people will make you broke and you run back to the western world to start from the beginning so you have to be wise okay so if you want to hate on me because i'm telling you the truth that's fine but it is what it is and i'm going to speak the truth whether you like it or not. Well, but yeah. We're going to be able to make it. We're going to be able to make it. So, Sam, you have to say, no, you have to find it. Yeah, ma. Ma, I'm going to be able to make it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be able to make it. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. 
No, can you pay the repair? One out, and you want a yen. While away you want the mission, do a year, one again, and you never can you be honest or on your cafe. No one from the room. Okay. Okay. So yeah, Aunt Arba was basically wanting me to be careful. And as you heard in the video, I don't know if, if you don't understand it. They were saying that they will finish because in the village, they don't go on the farm on Tuesday. That's their belief. If you go there, their gods are against that and whatever. So we abide by that. So they're telling me that they don't work. That was Monday. So they tell me they don't work on Tuesday. So Wednesday, they're going to come and weed the rest of the green space. Guys, that was like over a month ago and it's still not done. And then the trees, not all of them are done. So basically, we went and planted the corn because the rainy season was in, in full effect and they were wasting time. So we had to go and plant the corn without get it this done and it still hasn't been done the women are okay when we were building the structure the women were the one who fetched the water and all that zero issues with them but the men we hired two young men to get the gutter done and it became an issue i was in the house threatened to bring the cops and whatnot honestly it shouldn't be like that but it is okay and i'm not saying it's like that in every village in ghana but i'm talking about my experience and pretty much you have to be careful be careful because when they see you with the money they think you plug it off the tree pluck 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 so they don't care they just use you and what can you possibly do yes i go and i threaten i'll bring the police but do i really do it no and then it's like you know why i don't want to be chasing people in the houses just get the job done so for me to protect my dignity and save face i'm just not going to work with them period yeah i do check on them because in ghana you can't be an absent um investor employer and succeed uh -uh, it doesn't work they're gonna run you down so every time i'll be going to the farm i'll go and check on the progress of cutting down the tree and everything seemed okay and what i've realized is for the first few days they will do the job because the money is there and then once they finish spending the money then becomes a hassle for them so then they would rather just take a new job and get more money and toss you up and down about yours so i was checking on this day and everything seemed fine but in the end i still ended up planting the corn not in the whole four acres because I still have some that needs to be cleared and some trees to be cut down. And I can't plant the corn on the tree because the shade will not let it grow. So yeah, I, I, I couldn't plant all four acres. So like why? I started way ahead of time so I'll be able to do that. And it didn't work out. They keep tossing me around. Okay. Okay. I bought four more pillars. I bought four more pillars and I'm adding it to the 11. It's supposed to be 12, but I go over one. So, I don't know why they're not. They still haven't weeded here. I don't know. So, I'm going on the farm and then hopefully I'll see them and see what's going on. Well, this area is supposed to be weeded by now. But it's not done, so there you have it guys these are some of the frustrations i'm facing working with people in the village as much as i'm thinking in my head i think it's a good idea to offer them job opportunities but in the end i end up regretting so i'm not saying don't hire people in your village or wherever you're doing your work but be very very careful okay and if you're gonna hire them don't give them the entire money no mm -mm give it as they go because that's the only way you can protect your interests otherwise you will regret it thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something guys i'm not out to get ghana i'm here to prepare my brothers and sisters who work so hard in the diaspora to put some money together to come back home and invest i want you to succeed okay i want you to be aware of these challenges so you can plan accordingly okay thank you so much and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and don't forget to share okay 
share so we can grow together and learn together. And let me know in the comment section, have you had experience like that? How did you deal with it? Or how would you handle this if it ever happened to you? Okay, let me know, okay? Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye and smile.